You can also easily view spectrogram for audio files that you work with inside of Audacity. So to work around with spectrogram view, I'm going to go around and import out an audio first. So I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to go to import right here and click on audio. So once I do that, I'm going to select out the audio waveform right here and then click on open. So this is what you have. So now in order to view the spectrogram, I'm going to go around right here on to the open menu right here and then I'm going to select spectrogram right here. So here you can see the graphical representation of different hertz in the audio. So you can see that the lower ranges is around 1000 uh, um, hertz right here while the above one is a uh, higher hertz. You can go around select the spectrogram right here and then select out different ranges by clicking on this as you can see. So you can select this out and work around with editing it as well. So if I were to apply some effect, I'm going to press Ctrl A right here. And then if I were to go to effect right here and let's say I'm going to go around and apply an effect uh, something uh, like uh, some passes. So I'm just going to go around right here. There's boss and treble as you can see. So let's say I'm going to increase the treble, decrease the boss right here press apply, then what happens is that now you can see that the above portion are more red, meaning there's more treble compared to bass right here. And that is how spectrogram uh, helps you to work around with audio file visually as well. So that is how you can view and then see how your audio file looks in spectrogram inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.